This beautiful church has been around nearly a hundred years. It's St. John's Cathedral in Boise, Idaho, and it's built out of sandstone mined from the foothills just outside of town. Like most churches, it was made to last for generations. Sixty miles west of Boise in Payette, Idaho, is home to the Marshall Company. They've been here ever since 1936. All this time, they've been perfecting the art and skill of manufacturing solid oak church furniture. Beautiful, classic, and created to last for generations. We'll learn all about their process in a few moments. It's pretty much the same thing that gets all their jobs. Uh, we ask one question at the beginning uh, to every client, you know, uh, how long do you want these pews to last? And they kind of look at us strange and say, well, forever. And they say, well, then you have to go with a solid wood pew versus a veneer wood. And uh, that eliminates just about everybody very quickly. And so that, that usually leaves Marshall on top, and that's what we go with. This humidity-controlled warehouse is where the oak boards are unloaded off the truck at the Marshall Company once a week. These oak boards are labeled FAB grade, which is the highest grade of lumber, and it means they'll get a more consistent grain with less mineral streaking than a lower grade. This is Michael Stoneman, whose grandfather founded this company, and now you and your father are the co-owners and you're the current sales manager, right? That's right. Now, Michael, this lumber acclimates here in the warehouse for three months. Tell us about that process. Well, we try to treat all woods the same way. We try to keep the warehouse in here about 45 to 55 percent relative humidity. Then we take the boards and lower them down to between 6 and 8 percent moisture content. If you take a piece of wood and put it into production too soon, it's going to be too high in moisture content, and then you're going to have a piece of furniture that's going to warp and crack. Here in the mill, the first stop is the rip saw, where the raw lumber is sawed into strips. This serves two purposes. First, the rip operator actually grades the wood as he feeds it into the saw. He removes any knots or inconsistencies that they don't want in the finished product. That's important, because even though buying the highest grade is a good start in getting perfect wood, they still have to keep an eye out for blemishes. The second purpose of cutting the raw lumber into two strips is that they are also relieving the stress in the wood by cutting it smaller. And for us, of course, knowing that they're in the church business helps. Uh, you know, when the, the semi pulls up and, and the front of the semi, it says the Holy Roller, you know, uh, you, you kind of like to know <laughs> that you're all on the same team. So it wasn't just another bench company. It was somebody who actually spends their, their life helping churches uh, beautify their space. So that was really nice. After the rip operator cuts the large boards for width, the wood is then sent here to be cut for length. In their solid wood seats and backs, the Marshall Company keeps the individual boards that make them up as long as possible. Once they're glued and partially cured, the wood is then stacked and stored here for 45 days to allow each individual piece of wood in the panel to acclimate to one another.
After sitting for 45 days, the individual panels have cured. Then the two panels are glued together into one big piece, which the pew end is actually cut out of. The pew end blanks are then brought over to the CNC router to be cut. The router assures them of a consistent, even cut from piece to piece. Once the wood pieces are cut, they're ready to be sanded. Each piece that comes out of the factory is hand sanded. Now, Michael, why is it that there's no substitute for this step? Well, machines can do the sanding for you, but unfortunately, they can't feel or see what they're doing. The next time you're in church, feel the pew in, feel underneath it, feel along the edge route. Most likely, it's gonna be rough because it was machine sanded. The reason why we hand sand is for an absolutely smooth finish. We have dug fur uh, trusses and decking, and we had to sort of stain the trusses to, to resemble as close as we could to the solid oak. Um, when they come in, they marvel at how well put together these pews are and how well it blends with the, the different material that we have in here. Um, they're amazed both at, at how they look, how they've come together, um, and just the, the sheer magnificence of the place. Since the Marshall Company is a custom manufacturer, they can build just about any chancel piece that an architect or a liturgical consultant can imagine. All they need is a conceptual drawing from the church and they can transform it into reality. Our last stop is the finishing room, where all of the wood products have their color and top coat applied. This is probably one of the most labor-intensive departments here, because each piece is hand-rubbed and hand-sanded. And then three coats of mar-resistant water-clear lacquer is applied. The wood is then allowed to dry and stacked and stored for shipment. I've only been in this town for 20 years and uh, our oldest job is probably 14, 15 years old, and I haven't had a problem yet. Um, no joints have opened up, nothing dried out, nothing separated, no hardware problems to speak of. I haven't had a call. You know, you always get the leaky roof calls and you always get the electrical problem calls, but I've never had a pew problem call. And I go back to our jobs where Marshall's been there and there, the pews are always the same. They never seem to change. The Marshall Company has their own fleet of trucks that they use to ship their products all over the western United States. Their drivers load their own trucks, drive them, and do all of the installations. They don't rely on outside sources to install their furniture. Assembling a solid oak pew is much different than assembling a pew made entirely of particle board. Assembling their pews takes time, using screws, clamps, and wedges, and cannot be rushed. The Marshall Company installers always take pride in their work and they take the time needed to make certain every detail is complete. I think they understand uh, the spiritual connection uh, that the furniture brings to the house of worship, so to speak, if you want to call it that. And I think they uh, kind of go beyond just trying to sell you some seats, but they really try to capture uniquely what you're trying to do in an individual um, house of worship.
St. John's Cathedral was built to last for generations. Classic beauty and durability are evident everywhere you look. At the Marshall Company, classic beauty is the result of pride and craftsmanship. Beauty that continues for generations.